Hello everyone, good evening. Yesterday there has been a tussle between the governor versus the government uh, in Tamil Nadu. Uh, let's quickly discuss about this, where we have to use this type of uh, conflicts. In India, you have federal system of government where you have central government as well as state government. As a result, governor plays a very crucial role because he was acting as the so-called uh, communicator between the center and the states. At times, this structure of federal relations is in trouble because our constitution itself has designed the model of federal structure in such a way that it is tilting towards center. So our federal relations can be found in three ways. One is in the legislature sphere, in the executive sphere and in the financial sphere. It has to be noted that in India you do not have dual judiciary or uh, federal judiciary, rather judiciary was integrated. Hence. Whenever there was a dispute on the legislature, executive and financial things, federal system is going to play or federal disputes are going to play a very key role. That is why UPSC always focuses on these things. Today the conflict is here between the executives. One is the executive headed by the chief minister, council of ministers headed by the chief minister versus the state executive head that is known as the governor. Let's quickly discuss what is this. The issue is this. Karnataka governor Mr. Uh, Ravi, R. N. Ravi has passed an order yesterday saying that a minister in the council of ministers has to be removed and his name was uh, Mr. Senthil Balaji. Now why he has uh, removed him, Senthil Balaji, because he was, uh, uh, he was charged on grab charges. He was taking corruption during the times of AIADMK. So he shifted to DMK, now government is protecting him as a result what uh, the governor did is by using his powers he has removed it. What uh, R.N. Ravi has did is after removing him uh, then he has received a phone call or communication from the home ministry saying them uh, it is he has to be reinstated. As a result ex post facto only he has reinstated him. But the trouble has been very high because today uh, brother, uh, Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu he has clearly said that Stalin has clearly said that they respect governor but this is a constitutional misadventure. Why it is a constitutional misadventure? In order to understand this, Article 153, 163 and 164 of Indian Constitution is important for your prelims as well as means. Article 153 says there should be governor who will be the head of the state executive. 163 says there shall be council of ministers headed by the chief minister and 164 discusses about uh, other aspects of council of ministers. Right? In this it says that uh, the council of ministers or the ministers including the chief ministers exercises his or exercise their discretion or exercises their powers under the pleasures of governor. But it has to be noted that the pleasures of governor cannot be exercised in an arbitrary manner. However, that exercise has to be cautious enough. If he is removing a minister, he has to get a communication from the chief minister until and unless that is not there, the governor doesn't have the right to, to remove. Hence, this is a constitutional misadventure. On the other side, uh, Mr. Stalin is equally uh, wrong in this game because he should have removed that minister Mr. Senthil Balaji because he was charged on the bribery. Now, uh, by taking the sides of, on the sides of Senthil Balaji, he, he is protecting uh, the person from due process of law. So, if uh, Chief Minister himself is acting as a shield of office, then there will be a perception among the people that due process of law is created. Nonetheless, though he has not uh, removed uh, him from the Council of Ministers, this doesn't justify the governor's over uh, enthusiasm in order to remove this. Now, it is very clear in India, this is not only with uh, uh, Ravi, but it is also the similar thing in many of the states where BJP is not in power. That you can observe in Maharashtra, that you can observe in Talang Telangana, that you can observe recently in Karnataka. Uh, you can observe that the same thing in Kerala as well as the so-called Tamil Nadu. So these are the center state relations that we are seeing and uh, even in uh, uh, West Bengal we have seen. So federal relations is a very uh, important aspect. Please remember this as an example and you can write uh, at times in your ethics as well as in GS paper too. Thanks for joining. Have a great day.